Hi, Kenny here from Embroidery Library. Cutwork embroidery is a classic way to add beautiful designs to napkins, table runners, garments, and more. I'll show you how it's done. Cutwork is a mix of freestanding embroidery and embroidering directly onto the fabric. Woven fabrics, like this linen, are an excellent choice for cutwork. Avoid stretchy fabrics and fabrics with lycra or spandex, as these types of fabric will bunch and pucker. Before starting, be sure to pre-shrink the fabric by washing and drying it. If you don't pre-shrink the fabric, it may pucker later on. First, cut a piece of medium weight cutaway stabilizer a bit larger than your hoop. Spray the stabilizer with temporary adhesive and smooth the fabric on top. Hoop the fabric and stabilizer together firmly and tighten the hand screw. It's important to use 30 or 35 weight cotton thread when embroidering cutwork. Cotton thread is a bit heavier than rayon or polyester thread and helps to hold up the detail of the freestanding portions of the design. There are a couple of different names for cotton thread like mercerized and all-purpose. Since both sides of the cutwork can be seen, I'm winding a bobbin with the same thread I'm using in the needle. Attach the hoop to the machine and load the design. Embroider the design. The first thing to sew will be the cut lines. These lines will be used to cut the openings in the fabric. After the cut lines have sewn, remove the hoop, but do not unhoop the fabric. Place the hoop onto a cutting pad. Then, using a sharp craft knife, carefully cut out the openings by cutting in between the sewn cut lines. Cut through the fabric and the cutaway stabilizer. Next, cut a piece of water-soluble stabilizer to the size of your hoop. I'm using Vileen, which is soft and fabric-like. Add double stick tape to the outer edges of the stabilizer and smooth it on the back of the embroidery. Attach the hoop back onto the machine and continue with the design. A zigzag stitch tack down will sew around the raw edges of the fabric. This tack down binds the fabric and stabilizer together. Next, the design will sew over the water soluble stabilizer and the fabric, covering the raw edges of the openings. After the design has finished, unhoop the fabric and cut away the excess water soluble stabilizer and the cutaway stabilizer. To remove the remaining water soluble stabilizer, place a dry paper towel under the embroidery. Then, using a damp paper towel, dab the embroidery inside the open areas. Or, you can hand wash the fabric with a mild detergent. Allow the design to air dry. Then, using a pressing cloth, press with an iron. Use cutwork embroidery to dress up your table. Add dainty detail for a classic look. Or, spice up your wardrobe. Thanks for watching. To find the cutwork designs, more machine embroidery designs, and step-by-step -step instructions, visit our website, www.emblibrary.com.